Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Bant Arcbow in Mythic. We've only played this deck one time uh, just uh, two days ago, I believe it was, and we did well with it. I think we were 5-1, uh, and one, I believe, with the deck, uh, maybe 4-1, I don't remember, something like that, but it definitely felt pretty good, and I remember we, we were a little unfortunate. You know, we lost to Phoenix and in a game that like I thought that we were going to be winning, um, but our opponent had answers for our double Shalai combo with like the dispersals. They had that twice. I thought we were going to be able to pull ahead, but we didn't. But anyway, the deck felt pretty good, uh, so I want to play it again. Uh, we've, we have been just having a lot of success the last couple of days, though. Like, the last uh, three days, basically all the decks that I've been playing here in Mythic, we've been winning with, and so I'm not really... Um, not really lowering the amount of, you know, like, not really narrowing uh, the, the deck that I want to play... Uh, during the MCQ on Saturday. It's still looking like, you know, Gruul, Grixis, or the four color Dread Horde. So we'll see here if we don't if we don't do well with the Bant Arc Bow, then you know maybe I'll put it up for one of the other ones. But uh, as far as as far as the deck goes, I think Kral Harpooner is like my least favorite sideboard card. I don't really know anything else that I want to play over it though also. Um so we'll kind of we'll kind of see. I think that's that's my least favorite sideboard card, but uh, we had pretty good success with the main deck, even though I'm a little worried about like how we don't have very much to do on turn one and two. But we're just hoping to kind of get a, a mana creature out and then really start going and hopefully get an arc bow and then play all this stuff at instant speed. Uh, the the arc bow is really just like the key card to like this deck. It's the card that makes this deck really strong. Being able to put in frilled mystics and shalais and lyras and all that kind of stuff instant speed uh ronus so why not add a ronus ronus is not better than the other five mana options because if you're putting your creatures in at your end step at the opponent's end step which is the ideal with all the arc bows and other vivians ronus doesn't help you then i do kind of want a second tristani there's a lot of you know, mass manipulations and hostage takers and thief of sandies and I don't know, command the dread horde that takes your creatures and there's a lot of ways that your creatures get stolen these days I, I think i may want a second tristani in here maybe over one of the kral harpooners we'll just kind of see um yeah we'll see anyway let's go ahead and get started with our deck here so we got uh bant arcbow did i update the deckless command actually yeah i did okay Good. I did. I better not drink my orange juice over there. Meow, 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 meow. All right, we can we can try this out. Please don't kill my paradise druid. You want to be on camera, Hawkeye? There you go. What's our opponent doing? I don't know either. There they go. Overgrown Tomb. All right, four color Dread Horde. I don't think I played against four color Dread Horde with this deck last time. I don't think I need to counter anything on turn three. Three mana Teferi would be their best card. I want to save the Frilled Mystics for, for later on. 
for like their four through six mana plays. Well, that's unfortunate. That was, that was like the one card I'd want to be able to fill Mystic. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Gladstone, the donation. That's more like it. Thanks, Gladstone. All right, let's see what we got here. Wow, that's a great draw. Can we draw just a green this source also? Can, can we be lucky? Here we go. Green source? Uh, not lucky. All right, that let's get rid of that. According to plan. All right, Stream Labs, why aren't you up updated? Okay, here we go. Donation deck, Jeskai Kefnet Phoenix. Okay. So May 22nd in the number three slot. Perfect. All right, so tomorrow, third slot. Will do. So Jeskai Control with Kefnet. Nice. That looks pretty sweet. Here's the deck list here in chat. Uh, three mana Teferi isn't necessarily the bane of the deck for me because I do have... Um, nothing. Just gonna get rid of this wild growth walker, I think. I do have like the arc bow that you can still put stuff in instant speed and everything. But you you can still put in like mystics instant speed off arc bow if you're lucky. I just happen to have the mystics in my hand, and so it definitely looks worse here because I have the mystics in my hand. If I you know if you don't have the mystics in your hand, you know you just you just keep on trying to look for them and everything. Could one card and one set. Sorry, I'm late. That's an early command, the Dread Horde. Um. As far as the set, maybe Magic Origins. I really liked that set. I think it could play kind of well in Standard here too. I think it's not like ridiculously powered or anything like that. It, I think it could fit well in Standard. I just want to hit land drops. That's all I want. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Just wanted to hit a land drop. Let's try this. This is Death Cat for Cutie. I got a, bl a blocker for the Teferi because I just want to draw lands so I can just I'll just ditch the land or elf and ditch the paradise druid and everything so I just I just want to draw lands that's all I want to do
We just can't draw lands. Seriously, we have three in play. Three. Uh. I won't let you win. That's game. This Teferi shuts me down from casting the Frilled Mystics. We know the other Frilled Mystic is in our... Obviously, I don't even have the blue mana, but we know the other Frilled Mystic is at the bottom of our library. This might be a bad idea. And now they have Wild Growth Walker. I guess I have a little bit of a chance. I got an idea. Yeah, we just missed too many land drops. That was really the huge problem. That's more like it. No, I don't think Silent Gravestone stops this deck. Like, just look. Like, they just... They have this card right here. They just bounce your Silent Gravestone. Play the Command the Dreadhorde. You're dead. Just that, it's, it's like a... It's like a Band-Aid for a gunshot. It's not going to help you. It's unfortunate. That'd be nice to have something like that that was very easy to play. And would shut them down, but they're the deck's too good. Just get stopped by something like that. Alright, we gotta hit deputy at attention here. Did not. Because Deputy Attention would let me take the Wild Growth Walker so they don't gain any life back from the exploring, and they would just go down to two. And then we'd play Dawnbringer and go from there. What's up, DJ Polly B? Thanks for that resub there. Six creatures. I don't really need these time ravelers too much, do I? I need two. I 
How does this card actually help me? Helps me pressure their Planeswalkers. Just, I don't know if I want Dovin's V. Yeah, I guess I want Dovin's Veto, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with this. Which I kind of wish I would have taken one out and kept another three mana Vivian in. Good, let's actually hit land drops this time. Actually, I have three lands instead of two. Which is better against Esper Control, Mono Red, or Mono White? I'm honestly not sure. I don't know. Yeah, Mono White is good against the Dreadhorde decks as long as they don't have... As long as they don't have... Um... Honestly, maybe I should just be Frilled Mysticking there. As long as they don't have Massacre Girl, you can kill him before that. Or kill him after that. Moment of craving. Wow, well, card I wasn't expecting. So we're in a pretty decent spot here. You know, just to hold on to, like, Frilled Mystic and Veto. And if we don't need to do anything, then we just Arc Bow. Would have liked the fifth land, because we want to be Arc Bowing for five, not four. May just wait. No, we'll, we'll Arc Bow for four. Shalai, of course, is our best hit. Want to hit Shalai. So we're hitting this thing. There we go. Taking everything. All right. Well, we know the other. <clears throat> we know the other deputy is down at the bottom of the library, so we're not hitting another one. Yeah, these explorer stuff has been detained. That's a great card for them. Step aside or be crushed. Good card, good card. Tick up. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Well, 
their play was certainly to kill the Vivian's arc bow. So I am, I am really, really glad they didn't just kill the, the best card on my battlefield by miles. I guess today is your lucky day. I guess that's their plan, though, is to... Uh, I guess I understand their plan. With uh, wanting the Deputy Detention dead so that they could bring back Deputy Detention with Command the Dread Horde to, to bring, get the other thing. So, honestly, I understand what they're doing. That, that makes some sense. Like waxes and wanes. I don't think Tamio does too much for them right now. We can just counter the next thing. Can we get game three on the draw? Oh, that's a good get. The tracks of the wise. That's a good get. All right, maybe the game's not over. So now I need to just do this. Six. I will not stand for such violence. No, it wasn't lethal. I could have dealt six damage. That would have been four. That's six damage. There. So they have Jade Light. They were at they were at seven before. Do I want baffling ends here just to exile wild growth walkers for good? So thinking about like with taking out Jade Light, I'm thinking I don't want to give them more Jade Lights to be able to go grab kind of thing. I definitely feel like our, our hand's gonna be like this is gonna be too slow on the draw. Why is Baffling and risky? Because even if they destroy it, they only get a 3-3 Dino. They don't get Wild Growth Walker back. Yeah, Vraska killing it and giving them a 3-3 isn't really that risky. It's just a 3-3. We can deputize 3-3s or just, you know, go way over the top. I feel like the on the draw, the, I'm not going to be able to protect Vivian with, like, this setup that I have. So I think I'm going to go Baffling Ants instead there. And I'm going to take out one veto for another baffling end.
Yeah, that's that's what makes Baffling End better than other options. Is that even if they destroy, they don't get their Wild Growth Walker back like it's exiled forever. Against Deputy Attention, they I mean they have three mana to ferry, they have four mana of Raska, they have five mana to ferry. And then yeah, then Massacre Girl also. Yeah, they get to deal with the Arcbow pretty pretty well. Again, like four mana of Raska is is a big problem. Killing my three mana walkers, my arcbows, my deputies. I mean, this hand's not bad if we just draw white mana. I only have 13 white sources. No, 15. We have to draw one of 15 cards in like two or three draws. Just to play the game. Seriously? Blue white, blue white. Come on. We have six blue white lands. There's three of them right there. All right, now we need Dark Bow. Dark bow. Hmm. So with the God Eternal Oketra, I'm gonna want the Paradise Druid out so I can make sure that I can hit this land drop. And then I'm keeping the other Paradise Druid in hand though, so that after I hit the land, you know, like if I if I play this, I basically have two turns to look for a land, and then I can, like, double spell with these. But they're not, they're not playing any lands. So we're looking uh, solid. Basically, like, Masker Girl is, like, a card they need. Or just a bunch more Explore Creatures. Well, the bunch more Explore, explore Creatures first, and then Masker Girl. I guess if I play Tristani, though, Masker Girl, like, wouldn't actually kill anything right now. We saw them have Moment of Craving last game. I don't, so I don't know if they'd have Cast Down also. I can only single... Well, I mean, I can double spell with Druids. But I'm just going to play Tristani. Hey, Eddie, I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good.
Why are they keeping cast down? What's what's their goal to cast down here? Like they want to kill like my token? The Lana War Elf? Cause like Tristani and Oketra, you can't cast down those. Like even let's say we don't have the Shalai there. What are they what are they trying to cast down? Whenever they're missing land drops and everything. What's the point of keeping that? Alright, got the first one being Arc Bow. <laughs> Thanks, Yori. Yeah, we we got up to twenty five today. Uh, before playing Naya Feather, and then we went two through with Naya Feather, and so we went went farther back down. Oh, we're not on the uh, we're not on the play. Tilt. Never lucky. Yeah, it's almost there. All of our losses were all real close. The deck played pretty well. Really struggled the most against mono red and mono white with the deck. The beatdowns. Honestly, for our one, I think I think this land world is actually going to be good for us. For like, what, usually you would see somebody ditch that card, but honestly, like with us playing Oketra next turn, so they can turn their Thorn Lieutenant into a six seven, but that takes up their entire turn. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna time you know like time walk them or whatever however you'd say that. Take up their turn there. So I'm down to six. So do they have like two lightning strikes that are going to kill me? Hopefully they don't have two lightning strikes to kill me. I, sh I should ju I just shouldn't even attack with Oketra here, because basically I want to be able to like hopefully we can have Shalai after this. But okay, good. Because of because of Collision Colossus, like the Colossus part, maybe I just shouldn't even attack with Oketra and just try to have all the defense possible. And you know next turn put in like Shalai Instant Speed or Dawnbringer or Frilled Mystic or you know like one of those things. We didn't see a whole lot, um, but Baffling End and Deputy Detention definitely seem like worthwhile cards from what we saw. Um, don't know if like how Planeswalker heavy they're going to be. I think Time Waster and Frilled Mystic. So I get rid of those, what, I'm at 25 creatures? It's not very many, especially for like this Vivian. I guess, I guess time waster may be better 
then Vivian. Now let's go Knight of Autumns. Let's just make four threes. There's 27 creatures. That's 27 is a lot of creatures. That's good. All right. Yeah, yeah, paid for all the card styles. Yep. Uh, what deck would I choose if I tried to get rank one? I don't know. Like the... There's, like I've been saying, there's four decks that I like right now. Uh, the two I played yesterday with Gruul Midrange. And... Uh, four color dread horde, and then the two, like the two, the first and the first and the last from today, Grixis control, ban arc bow. I've been doing well with all four of the decks right now. Probably the most effective, like the most the the fastest way to grind gold is with the. It's definitely with the constructed events. If you want to, um, like. Best of one is like the fastest way if you want to play best of one. If you don't want to play best of one, then you know doing best of three is, is the way to go there. But being in the best of one queues with like mono red is like the fastest way to grind gold. Um, or, you know, I don't, I don't know, whatever other best of one deck is good, whatever you win with. All right, Naya Feather is ready to go on YouTube once I finish typing the stuff for it. What are you doing over here, Phoenix? Yuck. Phoenix is a problem. Hopefully, Lyra Dawnbringer stops our opponent. Uh oh. That's a pretty good curve. On the play, turn two spellbreaker. Turn two spellbreaker, turn three Phoenix, turn four Hellkite on the play. I don't think it really gets much better than that. Lethal there with the Hellcat activation. All right, so their curve goes a little higher than I was thinking, and we're going to be on the play. So I definitely want the Frilled Mystics here on the play. Um,. Deputy attention doesn't seem as safe. And they just fly over Tristani. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, Grixis is a Nickel Bolas deck. Can we get some lands? Love to have Shalai on turn three. Catcher on turn four. Ugh. That makes sense if you're grinding best of one with a mono red playing Tibalt. That'd make a lot of sense. All right, first land. Very good. Uno mas land, please. Hooray. They had a little bit of time to lightning strike the Paradise Druid with the Shalai on the stack there. All right, thank you, deck, for drawing those Hinchland Harbors for us, but that's enough lands for now, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Is that, is that Colossus? Lightning Strike? Well, if I if I block, Oketra oh, kills the spellbreaker if I block. So, yeah, it's unlikely it's just a bluff attack, because if I block, their spellbreaker gets eaten. So collision if they do if it is collision colossus collision will kill Shalai. All right, got there. This Oketra card pretty good. Pretty good. So catcher card is pretty good. Down, 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 down. Forty-one, one of the best numbers. My boy Dark Nowitzki, number forty-one. Kazu, what's up? Glad you're here. Well, zero lands into zero lands. Thanks for playing. Hope you enjoyed your match of standard. <laughs> okay, if I crack top 10, you're gonna resub? Sweet. Uh -oh. Kept the Vivian on top, kind of hoping they were a slower deck and we'd be able to Vivian and everything. They don't really seem like a slower deck, though. No Chain Whirler. No Chain Whirler. No Chain Whirler. Pass the turn. Hooray! They passed the turn. What do they have going on over there? I don't know. Is it risk factor? Now. No. Bad frenzy. Bad. Get out of here. Okay, okay. Hmm. So this could bounce another Frenzy if they have another one. I've lost so much already. The mysteries of life are endless. Keeping that Paradise Druid hexproof. Fight like a city brat. Those are some good cards. Right on schedule. Here we go.
So we'll flash in Dawnbringer next turn. protect you. For the fallen. All right, we got this game. <laughs> uh I don't I don't know what that means, Kernim. Yeah, we're playing some band arc bow. Where's Puppy? Puppy's in the other room. Yeah, there's a song command. Sorry, exclamation point song, if nobody did that. Uh, this is Churches right now. The band Never Say Never? Nope, Never Say Die. Whoops. Yeah. You're welcome, Machoka. Er. Man. Majocha. That was a very, very slow mono red hand. True. Get to hand with some frenzies. I mean, does just like the whole sideboard come in? Bring in the sideboard? Except for Harpooner. All right, so Champion of the Wilds is definitely out of here. And probably Time Raveler also. Yeah, I don't think I really want that. I want all these other three drops, though. Uh, I'll cut one arc bow. I'm going to cut an Oketra. Cut a spark double. Yeah, like they just burn all your, your things and everything like that. And then do I get rid of Frilled Mystics or Dovin's Vetoes? Yeah, I just don't play Veto. And cut one Mystic. Or cut a Paradise Druid? Nah. Just hope they don't chain Whirler my stuff, I guess. I don't know. Frilled Mystic, pretty sweet. Yeah, I like Veto also. It's not like I don't I don't like Veto or I don't like some of these other cards. Uh, I think I should play one Oketra. All right, one frilled mystic out. It's my opinion of Tulsimer in this deck. I th I think Tristani is better. I don't think you need like I think Tulsimer is a little bit better in green white where you could use that interaction, but with having access to deputy detention, I don't think you need Tulsimer, and I think Tristani is going to be better for you. No, Arcbow is not slow. Arcbow is how we find. It's what we're going to be using to find our Shalais and Lyra, Lyras and all that kind of stuff. No. Arcbow is just always good, every matchup. I honestly probably should not have cut one. Hmm. 
Don't do it. Hooray, they didn't do it. So obviously I don't want to take the Pyromancer because I don't want to, them to trigger the Pyromancer again if they kill the Deputy. Alright, so they used a Lava Coil. It's a good sign. It's a good sign that the Lava Coil is gone. No, they have two lava coils. All right, as long as they don't have frenzy for our last card, maybe we can stabilize here. We have so many bows in this deck. We got Vivian's arc bow. Vivian has an arc bow. Like, we have, you know, the Arcbow card, Vivian with her Arcbow. We have the Oketra that has a bow. Ow. And of course, the 4-4 will be the thing that's blocking Pyromancer. I'm never blocking with Shalai. Make it hard for them to kill Shalai. I'll probably just be activating Shalai from here on out. That's unfortunate. Can we get fortunate now? Draw a Frilled Mystic. All right, I'll take Jade Light Ranger. Oh, that's awesome. Right as I said, Arc Bow Cap, you open up a, a booster pack and then you got an Arc Bow as your rare. Awesome, good rare. So this should be game. One way or the other. That will keep them alive. No, it won't. Never mind. Never mind. That's four and three. No. All right. Ban Arcbow. Three no. Up to number 29. Oh yeah, sorry, Teferi. You're you will open a Teferi. Subverses with that Twitch Prime sub. Sub number eight on the day. Let's get some hype in the channel. We're only two away from our first sub goal of the day. You got your second history today, and it's from the normal quest reward card. Nice. Yes, the constructed easy events are a little easier than the ranked queue. Not, not by like a whole lot or anything. They're pretty similar. See if you're worthy. Hmm. I guess I shouldn't target their creature, I guess. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. How do we match up against Jeskai Super Friends? I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe we played it last time? I don't remember if we did or not. I'm not... Like, I think we'd be okay. Not, like, overtly... Worried about the Jeskai Super Friends matchup. 
I'll be back. I won't forgive this. Just like before. I don't think too highly of that deck. I haven't really struggled being that deck with anything that I've played. I think... I know it did well this past weekend. Um, I think part of that was, like, people kind of not being as ready for it. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Yeah, I guess killing killing Vraska playing Jade Light Ranger, the, definitely an option. I was kind of focused on getting Shalai in play, and Shalai was going to be able to kill the Vraska the next turn. At least, that's the plan. But, yeah, maybe I should have just done that. Gotten rid of it. So, Incubation Druid activation oh, is up here. I don't now. know if they'll have... A Frilled Mystic also. Swapped a few cards to replace Radiant Destiny with Song of Fraley's. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like Venerate Luxodon. So obviously, W attention wasn't going to be doing anything else besides taking the Shalai. It, it just can't. Yep. Definitely regret not minus twoing the Nissa. I think that's my biggest regret from this game so far. Was how I ticked it up first, and I wasn't really considering that they were just going to be playing Golgari Queen to kill it immediately. But still, they could have had like contempt or anything like that. I, I wish I would have minus two that Vivian. Come on. We'll go get the Tristani from the sideboard. Ugh! One card off. If I would have just minus two'd. Oh, I was one card off. Oh, was I saying Nissa? Whatever, Vivian. Same thing. All right, Tristani over here. Let's get a bunch of Dovin's vetoes. Um, I don't know. Everything... I don't really know if we need all these Dovin's vetoes, or I don't really know what to take out. Like, everything looks pretty okay. Like, Teferi... Like, they steal something, I Teferi bounce it and put it back in my hand is, is pretty nice. Maybe I'm not playing the Deputies. No, Deputies is just awesome in this matchup. I feel like their main removal is... No, they have black, though. They have other removal. Hmm. I don't know, like, what not to play. Like, all these cards seem good. Even Baffling End against, like, their stupid Incubation Druids and everything. Maybe Baffling End's just better than Deputy. I don't know, but, like, Deputy, we can hit off Arcbow and Vivian. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Gatsby? I don't know what not to play. I'm going to cut a Dawnbringer. I'm going to not play the Baffling Ends. I'm going to play some Deputies. I'm going to cut the Vetoes. Um, play two Teferi. 
Oh, I don't. Jade Light just doesn't matter in this matchup. I'll just take Jade Light out, actually. Give me one of these things back. How many creatures I got? 24? Let's get a 25th creature in here. Stop. What? What was going on? Did, did I not have enough cards in? I was at 59 after putting that extra card in. Well, dang it. This is not a good hand. That's really unfortunate. So correct, no changes were made. How this thing goes is up to you. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? That's really, really unfortunate. Didn't get to sideboard. I'm not losing everything again. Oh, come on. Let me show you what was lost. No white mana. Just don't have my Tristani. Really, really unfortunate here that just throw, threw away this game too after we lost game one. Not bad. This one right here, Rave Time, I think is the strongest arc bow out of the three that I've been playing. Wild animals I like. People starting over is the only way. Another really good hand for them also. <clears throat> Man. Really wish I would have sideboarded. Guess that's, can't really blame anybody else besides myself though. Things begin and end in nature. I guess if they just have another steel effect, I can't beat it, so I'm not going to try to play around it. Just hope I get to untap, draw a land, play Deputy, and have Frilled Mystic up. Or even just un untap, have Frilled Mystic up kind of thing. It's upsetting to lose this kind of matchup, too, when I have like a, a card like Tristani that 
I just don't even get to play. Bleh. There's a matchup like that that I... I think I definitely could, like I was I was pretty confident I was gonna be winning games two and three I really was like with the extra counter magic and everything and I honestly thought I was gonna be winning those other games after sideboard but just didn't get to sideboard oh well got to move on definitely love arc bow if we don't draw lands though we won't win with this but we should be able to draw lands so um, Omri 2 I don't really play best of one at all um, but as far as I know best decks to be playing are either mono red or Esper built to beat mono red And so I'd probably recommend one of those two. I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking Llanowar Elf instead. A four four haste. Land drop. Uh, that's the that's something that I wanted to get the rhythm of the wild away so they didn't just get the growth chamber guardian combo. It's a good combo. Land drop. I don't really want to block with Shalai. Sweet. But I also want to show as much strength in blocking as possible. All right, so Baffling End in on the draw, Frilled Mystic out. Uh, Deputy in Time time Wasters. This is 24 creatures. Yeah, I'll take out a Vivian for a Time Waster. Maybe another one. 24 is not very many for Vivian's Minus. I'll play a Knight of Autumn also. Two Knight of Autumns. Two, two Knight of Autumn, two, two, two Teferi. Knight of Autumn does a good job of trading with Spellbreaker. Could kill Rhythm of the Wild too. And on the draw against the aggressive deck, it's hard to protect the the Vivian Planeswalker. Land, please. Ooh. 
No chain whirler, good. Teferi bouncing Branch Walker looking for a land isn't really the best. How they missed a land drop also. So letting them explore again isn't ideal. That was just the best possible Jade Light. Because the 2 1 still trades with Branch Walker. But it drew us two cards. <clears throat> so that was the best possible. Especially how we needed those cards. I definitely could see them having a harpooner to kill Shalai here. That's okay. Or a coil. But maybe no collision no Colossus or oh it looks like Harpooner. Ooh. That is a great sign for us. For the little wild. I know my response. Unfortunately, gets bounced by Teferi because Teferi's you. pretty broken. Teferi bounces everything. All right, four and one. So usually we play five matches. That's what we have been doing. But I'm gonna keep playing this deck a little bit here. Been enjoying it. Let's play a little more. GGS. Yeah, at least he doesn't bounce Planeswalkers. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't just bounce uh, permanents, you know, with um, with the fairy. I wouldn't be surprised if he just bounced and lands. <laughs> he missed Nullhide Ferox. Well, Nullhide's a good card. I have, you know, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like. Um, Frilled Mystic more, but I have been liking Frilled Mystic more than Nullhide overall in the deck. So we're not 41 anymore. We're not Dirk's number. We're 42, unfortunately. I think I'm going to go ahead and just minus Vivian this time. Just make the sure we get a card. To be contained. Tear it down. Tear it all down. So is this Sultai or is this four color? Four color. Considered not. I definitely considered not. Uh, Attack in there with the Paradise Druid. Trust me, I have a plan. You can still walk away. <laughs> Vivian sounds like Daenerys. With the tear it down, tear it all down. Here goes nothing. Bum, bum. No, it kills my arc bow. Go ahead, beg for mercy. Every 
I've got it. <laughs> Probably won't be getting to number one ranked before end of the stream. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Let's take it back. The ends justify the means. <laughs> Thanks, Gatsby. Keep up the pace. It's definitely how this played out. I certainly wish I just did an attack with the Paradise Druid on the third turn of the game. My lesson there should not have attacked. You know, whenever you see Woodland Cemetery Drowned Catacomb, you're not like sure a Teferi is going to be the, their third turn, but it was. It was Beacon Teferi, and that really punished me for, for attacking with the Druid. But now that I know the matchup, definitely won't do that again if that scenario happens again for us. No tail should be discarded. I know my responsibility. Hmm. I've got time. Let me remind you to fear those born of dark. Darkness within. Just too much value over there. Hold that thought. Matter of time. Let me aid your research. The weak. I'll protect you. Jellyfish.
Okay, so let's go... All three of them over there at Tamiyo. This thing at Teferi here. Need to try to kill this Tamiyo. Yeah, for sure. Dreadhorde, yeah, if after Wild Growth Walker rotates, it's going to be pretty hard for Dreadhorde. Command the Dreadhorde. For sure. This is hardly my worst defeat. So this is target player or planeswalker. Okay, so they can target themselves with Soren. It's not like Chandra that that's opponent or planeswalker. Or Chandra, you can't target yourself. To the library. Correct. There's one one more set. We're gonna have we're gonna have a set. Um, we're gonna have the core set 2020 that's coming up here in july like july 14th ish somewhere around there or maybe july 7th i don't know some, something like that and then we're gonna have um and uh then the then the fall set whenever that releases at like the end of september that's when rotation will be oh i like both these decks i like i th the deck our opponent's playing is really good. The deck that I'm playing, I've been been enjoying it. Yeah, I think both of these decks are strong. Right on, much more reliable than it seems. Step out of the shadows. Of course, Tamio taking up that much. So they're down to 18 cards in the library. Can we mill him out? Is that possible? Yeah. Let's try this. At that time, whenever the fall sets are released, um, all the Ixalan block, Dominaria, and oh, Corset. Consider it um, done. 2019 will all ro rotate. Maybe not even the Tristani. That Frasca killing my arc bow is really annoying So what do I want to get rid of? Yeah, we really need like the Shalai spark double combo in this matchup. It's one that I definitely want to try to get in play.
definitely a matchup we're trying to get that going. Oh no, Hawkeye. <laughs> Sitting on the keyboard. Okay, here. <laughs> You're gonna have to move. Sorry, Hawkeye. Uh, I know. <laughs> And now you like sitting up there. You're gonna make me click on something I'm not trying to click on. All right, I, I had to like I I left to a different, like Hawkeye, clicked away. Y'all still in the chat room? I don't see anything in the chat room right now. Oh, there, I see Storm. Okay. So basically everything above, above like where I just put those hype boats, and Hawkeye clicked away to a different tab or something. I did not hit Frilled Mystic. That's it's kind of the problem with having Frilled Mystic and Deputy Attention in your deck. Is, you know, like, we're going for Frilled Mystic to counter it, but if I would have let it resolve, then we could have deputied it. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Your aggression is noted. I'd love to be able to find Spark Double and have Double Shalai combo. That is certainly what we want to find. find my notes helpful. So even if they have the Command the Dread Horde here, My you know, even if they have Land Command the Dread Horde, they at least won't have the Wild Growth Walker in hand to be able to, like, the Wild Growth Walker won't be in play to let them gain a whole lot of life. We'll still get, like, three Planeswalkers plus other stuff. We're still, like, dead. I wish I would have just kept this baffling end. I am 
not going to sit this one out. Here we go. I've got time. Hardly my worst defeat. <laughs> we don't get to see these. They put them all back in a random order, right? Yeah. So don't get to see him. I think we've what activated Arcbow twice now. I want to have a backup Shalai. I feel like Shalai is really important. Yeah, we beat Dreadhorde earlier. We're probably going to lose this time. At least I, I think we are. I don't. Who knows? You know, who knows? This might be a bad idea. Hmm. Thank me later. Don't worry, I got this. All right, Storm. Good night. Yeah, we're at forty-two. Uh, probably gonna fall back some more. Probably, maybe. Did get to twenty-five. I think that's the highest we got. And we're at like 29 before this last match. We just lost last match. I think. Something like that. Max speed. So they have a whole lot of juicy Command the Dreadhorde targets. Dang. Let's slow this down. I can no longer stand by and watch. <clears throat> Time is much more malleable than people think. Obviously, I was hoping that we had another another turn. Trust me. I have a plan.
Hey, Deathsta. No, I am not making this up as I go. Thanks for that sub there. I can't frill mystic anything right now. We need to move quickly. Is that sub number nine on the day? Here goes nothing. Seven months in a row. You're amazing, Death Star. Thank you very much. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Beating Command the Dreadhorde is basically impossible. I, I really don't know any deck that's favored against <laughs> this four color Command the Dreadhorde deck. I haven't found one yet. Let us have a storied battle worth I haven't lost with the four color Command the Dreadhorde deck against anything except for a mirror match. The past it's is just it has it has everything. It has so it has just such a great late game. It's kind of unbeatable. I'm known for my excellent type. Oh, I've got it. Good game. Eighty four. So the first game, I, I definitely made mistakes the first game there, especially with, with the Paradise Druid um, attacking, letting the Paradise Druid get bounced and everything like that. Um, I messed up there. Second game, I don't know. Just every turn is just like another planeswalker that you just have to have to deal with and everything and that slows you down so much. I haven't I haven't figured out how exactly I want a sideboard for that matchup either. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do there. Shouldn't have discarded Lyra. I don't know. We already. I don't. I don't regret discarding Lyra. I kind of regret not playing Shalai or Lyra earlier and having just Arcbow activation earlier. Like maybe I should have played out one of the Angels earlier. I wonder if I need a second Spark Double in the sideboard. Because like that kind of matchup, like, like really, like that's that's something that that will beat four color dread horde. If you get Shalai Spark Double, if you get that combo, they don't have, you know, like they they won't be able to deal with it. And all their planeswalkers have like all their planeswalkers have all those good minuses and everything, and and disrupt you so much and everything. If you have that Shalai Spark Double combo in play against them, that's that's like the dream. And so that's what I. Would, um, we just we never had Shalai in play, and and then activated Arcbow. Every time I played, Shal every time I had Shalai in play, it, it like left right away. Um, I couldn't ever get it to stick, and then try to find a, a Spark Double. Of course, we did, we never found the Spark Spark Double, but I couldn't ever do that. And maybe maybe I need to slam Shalai. Maybe like that the turn that I like bounced Wild Growth Walker plus. Did something else like maybe like maybe I just need a deputy wild growth walker and just let my arc bow be gone, honestly. 
mean, I just need to like let their deputy, you know, I deputy their deputy. <clears throat> I don't know. I was just hoping that our opponent wouldn't command the dread horde that, that very next turn. They did. Yeah, so we were one and one against four color dread horde there. Um, we are one and one. Arcbow is a, is a huge part of that matchup. So whenever they have like their ways to deal with Arcbow, uh, that's a big problem. Our opponent played that perfectly. They're a very good player. That last one. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> yes, I would play. I would play five or six Arcbows, but probably like Arcbow is incredible. You absolutely want to play all four. You, the deck is much much better whenever you have an Arcbow than whenever you don't have an Arcbow. It's not. It's drastic. And you can you can just if you have an arc bow in play you can just discard another an extra arc bow you know like it's not like the whole legendary thing doesn't matter as long as you have one in play you just discard the others so it doesn't it doesn't matter all you need you need the first one though uh, but anyway yeah that's that's being arc bow um, did pretty well with it you know with that four two. I mean, our our one loss, like that first loss, kind of had an asterisk. I thought that we were going to win games two and three, and then uh, I ran out of time sideboarding. I went to submit after, because as you all know, sometimes I take my time sideboarding, and I went to submit like two seconds before, but I guess I only had 59, and so then it said, well, too bad. You don't get to sideboard, and that really killed us. Um, uh, but there we go. That's Ban Arcbow. All right, so real good day today. Uh, had had a good stream and some good times. We got up to, you know, up to twenty five in mythic. We're at like what, like eighty or something like like that right now. Eighty five. It's fine. Um, sideboard wise, still don't know if we need these harpooners. I don't think we really do. I think those could be other things like maybe this extra Tristani. For all the the creature steel decks, and then maybe something else, maybe another baffling end. Who knows? Yeah, I, I think I need to bring in all the baffling ends in that last matchup. I think I should play them all, um, especially if they're gonna have deputy attention. I didn't see that card, but just exiling wild growth walker is so important. <clears throat> oh yeah, then maybe. Yeah, maybe the double. Because uh, there's some there's some decks like that like that last one that can't really can't like that the games are going to go longer. Like it's, when you know like the games are going to go longer and everything, and they're going to be grindy games, and there's just not as much removal, then trying to get this this Shalai Spark double combo is awesome. So. Um, all right, so that's Ban Arcbow. We'll try that next time. Uh, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, please hit that like button over there, and that subscribe button would be nice as well. But that's it for Ban Arcbow. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.